So, and we are live. Time to tie a fishing fly. Um, today we're going to do a thunder and lightning version from uh, the core collection. So let's uh, just zoom in on the fly. So let me see. I'm just going to get some nice focus on the hook. I think that's okay. Okay, so uh, first of all, um, we will gold tinsel. I go with extra small. So let me just get that right. And it's Friday again. Lovely. So just gonna tie in the whole bit here. There we go. And a few turns of the gold tinsel. I think I go with just three turns since it's a small hook. So just securing everything. The same here, I'm gonna tie in it in a bit. It's gonna be a fishing fly, so I want it to hold. And then we have orange silk. That is the next step. Hi Monty, I'm fine, thank you. How are you? Hi Rob, good afternoon. So time for the orange silk. I'm just gonna tie that one in. There we go. And this one I'm gonna bring uh, in my wallet for all the fishing fishing trips this year. I think it's going to be a nice pattern here in Sweden as well. So, just untwist the silk a bit. Tight wraps backwards. And this is a really nice version of Thunder and Lightning. I like it a lot. There we go. Silk is in place. Just gonna secure that. And same here, I tie it in a bit just to make it strong to fish with. Something like that. Let's get the leftover. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to add some thread here before adding uh, the tail. Just building up a bit. That should be sufficient. And I'm gonna add some wax to the thread. And we're gonna add the tail in the Indian crow. I'm using a substitute, uh, which I made myself actually. It's from uh, the lower part of the pitta. I just, uh, in, enhance the colors. So, attaching the tail. Just want to make sure it's straight. Now it is. 
the same here I tie in quite a lot just to make it strong there we go so I'm just gonna cut the stem so there you are <clears throat> This is the substitute. Um, I'm gonna wax the thread again just to give it some protection. It sticks better. There we go. And then I'm gonna wax it a bit more because we're gonna have ostrich hair. I got wax all over my fingers. Eh? <laughs> This one is a bit bushy. It's a leftovers from all the other butts I did. But I'm using it. The fishing flies. Then the look doesn't matter really. Oops, that, that was not intended. Uh, so let's restart. I got company of my dog who don't like me tying flies. <coughs> so, ostrich hull tied in and secured. Just cutting the leftovers there. And then this one has two gold tinsel uh, running along the body. So let's add them. There we go, one in place. Then I'm gonna add the other one. Hope it's not too short. Maybe a bit more. Oops, sorry. There we go. It looks a bit short. I hope it will uh, be long enough. <laughs> Some daily edge here. So, uh, next step is then. Uh, um, Black silk. Hi, Dave. How are you, buddy? Yeah. I wonder. Let me see. I will give it a try. Uh, otherwise, I, I'm going to change it immediately. So, three, four, five. No, it's, it's long enough. No problem.
So let's continue with the black silk. So I'm just tying it in everything. I want it to last. So Dave, this is one of the patterns I'm gonna fish when uh, we are going out up north in the wild. And just securing that one, because here we're going to tie in a hackle, golden olive. Ta da! Golden olive. So I'm just going to add some wax to the thread. <clears throat> now it's really tight. I tie everything in here as well just to make sure it can withstand a few, you know, grabs from the salmon. I'm gonna stop there and then we add black silk again. I'm gonna leave some room because I'm gonna do a hurl head and not a varnished one. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you can do that, mate. No worries. Just tight wraps backwards. I might have to add some extra silk because uh, at the same time I want to level up the, the body a bit. It might be sufficient, we will see. I need to add a little bit more. So I just secure this one and add some more than <clears throat> and tomorrow I'm going to have a tying uh, meeting with an old friend. So we're going to be tying flies for like 16 hours or something. That's going to be nice. 
I might uh, post the results uh, on Facebook and Instagram, etc. So, not that important to build a, you know, frame fly body. So, securing that one. So, tinsel time then. I'm gonna start with, uh, I think I'm gonna start with, let's see how they turn. I'm gonna start with the short one first. I did a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the tinsel to change the position a bit. It's gonna have a peak on the back side. Looks okay. Just securing that. <clears throat> Cut this. Uh, so you're just gonna fish for small fish then. So let's see what we can do with this hackle then. Uh, I had to change position. I tied it a bit too far up on the body. It's gonna be a brushy one. Actually, it's a hen hackle. <clears throat> There we go. Body almost done. Just gonna have a front tackle. That's gonna be yay. And the good thing with yay now is that it, it has a rather stick th um, stem. So then the wing is gonna point upwards a bit. Because it's a mixed wing pattern. So 
So once again, just taking this one, then adding the yay. I'm gonna use it all. It's not that many fibers on it. There we go. And same here, I'm gonna tie the stem in a bit just to make it robust. Or fit for fight, as I say. And then just make it visible. So now we have a good, actually the yay length is perfect. Maybe hard to see uh, with all the lights on here, but you will see it on the picture later. Uh, so now we are talking about the wing. So I'm gonna back the thread. And I made a mixed wing in advance. So it's a bustard, uh, uh, golden pheasant tail, red, yellow, blue. And uh, I'm gonna add a guinea fall on the sides. It's already uh, bronze mallard in. And I took all the natural colors, like five, five strands. And, and the colored one, I went with only two just to make sure it's, you know, it's not too much. I don't want it to look like a Christmas tree, yeah? There we go, one fiber. Got loose, that's okay. There we go. No, you know what I forgot? But I think that's okay. I forgot to include uh, the tippet. Let me see if I can just brush them in. Yeah, that's gonna be okay. No issues. That looks really nice, I must say. Hi, Timothy. Sorry, I was uh, looking into the, what I did. <laughs> Phoebus from Trahern. Yeah, that could be something for the next weekend. So that's the one that you want me to tie for you, mate. Now we have the guinea fall included as well. 
Let's see, interesting. So I got the fiber that had its own life. That's not allowed. So that looked pretty nice, I would say. I'm satisfied. So I'm just gonna cut all these things and then we're gonna have Yeezy on the sides, then a topping and then horn. So hopefully I remember all that. So there we go, something like that. Just removing all the stuff here. So let's start with Yeezy before the topping. And some backs to the thread. Hi David, how are you? I was in the zone there, sorry. <laughs> Tying frenzy. Nelly Blue, okay. I need to bright that one up. There we go. I like it. So, wax to the thread, get off that stem, and then we add uh, topping and horns. I think this one will work. Yeah. 
looks nice to me. So, some horns. I'm famous of forgetting stuff. So I'm very careful today. And as mentioned, instead of a, a shellac head, I'm going to do a, a hurl head because I think that will look uh, so much nicer. <clears throat> yeah, that's really fishy. And I love how I was able to find uh, uh, the J in, in the right side, size, sorry. My dog is, you know, doing everything to get attention here. <laughs> Go like that. There we go. Horn scene. So I don't think I missed anything so far. Uh, this one is a tree O. Um, it actually depends on uh, the water temperature and uh, the color of the water and uh, the depth of the river I'm fishing in. Uh, but overall, this is a quite nice size uh, for, for the, the Swedish rivers. Would it be a Norwegian river? Then I would go down like uh, to, to size one or one or oh. If it's really hot, I would go, go down to like a six or eight. So I'm just going to add a lot of wax thread before I add the hurl. Oh, this one is in the core collection, buddy. Uh, it's a great one. It's on page, it's page uh, 486. And even the pattern above uh, 485 is lovely, but that, that's a blue and orange. <clears throat> so, Pearl.
There we go. I guess to wet the hair a little bit and press it backwards. And that's it, guys. Let me see if we can get some contrast uh, on it. Let's see. Uh, the J is really hard to see, but I, I think it's gonna show up in, in the when I take the picture. But it's here in the front. It looks really nice lengthwise. I really can't complain. I'm happy with it. Yeah, yeah. So, so you shouldn't look at the picture. You should read the pattern, buddy. <laughs> but, but, but I know how you mean. And I didn't have any nice uh, um, cock hackling golden olive. It was like a shiny snack, so I didn't even want to touch it. So, so I went with a hen uh, feather instead. That's why it's quite thick, the body. But that wouldn't really matter when I'm going fishing for it. Come eat. My dog want to protect the whole world. So if he hears something, you know, he's going to bark. Come eat. Go leg day. So guys, that's it for today. And tomorrow I'm gonna be busy tying with a friend and hopefully, um, yeah, post some results later for you guys, okay? Bye.